Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Azaria La Mer Petite Luxe and the color that I have is in black. I will be reviewing it. I've had this for a little while. I did get this during the Mother's Day sale. Well, I have been using it since, so I wanna, you know, kind of give an update on how it's going and how it's wearing. And I will show you guys how I have it packed and at the end I will also be including it on the body. So let's get started. So the Azaria La Mer Petite Luxe is in full grain leather and the quality is really, really nice. It's very sturdy feeling. You just know when you get it that this is going to last you a long time. Um, this is a little bit of a thicker material so it may seem a little bit stiff. I don't mind that it's a little bit on the thicker side because it does provide a lot of structure to the bag and that's what I like. I just like a lot of structure. I don't want it to slouch too much. So this is really nice and what I'm looking for at the moment. I have reviewed the full size La Mer Luxe on my channel. I'll have that link down below. Um, it wasn't working out for me at the time but I really do like the Azaria bags. I really do like the Lux and the leather quality so I was really determined to make this one work for me this time. So let's start looking at the features. At the bottom you have the Azaria embossed here. It's really really pretty. In the front you have the magnetic pocket and in here I just have my wallet. And off to the side you have this zip pocket. I really like this pocket and I love the leather pull here. So nice. And the zippers are YKK zippers so they are really smooth. If you guys have seen my full size Lux review, I've mentioned that the zippers weren't that smooth. But with my Petite it really is and I don't have any issues um, with this zipper or the main zipper. So in this size zip pocket, I just have a small little pouch and this has a bunch of grocery bags. And looking at the sides, you have these slant bottle pockets with um, hidden depth. Now, because the material is so thick, um, I think if you guys have the Lux, you guys know initially it is really tight. So for me, when the entire bag is packed up, these bottle pockets are really tight to where I can barely put anything in them. I don't think I can even get a bottle in there. So what I did was I actually put two large cans in the bottle pockets and let it sit for a few days to see if it would help stretch the bottle pockets a little bit. Um, so I think I let cans sit in the bottle pockets for a week and I do notice a difference. There is a little bit of wiggle room now. So before I wasn't able to get anything in there but now there's a little bit of wiggle room to where I can like slip my hand in there. And so here I have a hand sanitizer and the other side I definitely could not get anything in there like my phone but um, after stretching out the pockets with like some cans um, I'm able to get my phone in there so that's really great so I don't know if you guys want to try that out but I just put honestly two like beefaroni cans in here and just let it set for a week and now I'm able to like get my hands in there when before it normally would be pretty tight and we look under the bag you do have four metal feet which I really appreciate especially with leather bags and on the back this is what it looks like you have backpack straps and these are not padded but they are pretty comfortable and I do want to talk about the weight of the bag it is kind of heavy, you know, for a petite bag, but I think that's pretty normal, especially with a leather bag and the material being a little bit thicker. Um, it's going to be a little bit heavy, but, you know, the weight is so evenly distributed that it doesn't really bother me that much. The backpack straps are not detachable, so you don't have the option to remove them, and this is how it adjusts. And surprisingly, this adjusts really, really well and really easy. And also in the back, you have this slip pocket back here. And back here right now, I just have some face masks for easy access when we're out at a store. But I also want to show you guys that if you wanted to, a tablet can fit back there. And at the sides, you do have two G-rings and it is made out of the antique silver hardware, really pretty with the bag. So you can attach the bag to stroller clips if you have them, but it also includes um, this shoulder strap. So you have the option to carry this over your shoulder and carry it as a purse or a crossbody. And at the top you have the leather grab handle. And now moving on to the inside of the bag, you have two-way zippers. And again, I just love the tassel, really easy to grab and open. And again, the zippers are so smooth with this. This is what the inside looks like you have a gray lining. Now I did look on the website and it said a uh, water resistant nylon. I didn't know this was nylon. I thought it was like a canvas material because it's it looks and feels so much like canvas but if 
the website says it's nylon, then I'm just gonna go ahead and say it's nylon. So I'm gonna start at the back of the bag. You do have this really nice zipper pocket. And back here, I just keep a handful of toys for my daughter to play with. And in the center compartment, I just have my water bottles for my two kids. They do fit on the outside pocket. I've tried it, um, but by doing so, it might eat away a little bit at the space of this pocket. So I just keep it on the inside. And they do also fit in this elastic pocket here, but you know, just to quickly get it in and out, I just have it in the center. Now on this side, you have that mesh elastic pocket and I have a pouch as my med kit. And on the opposite side, you have the same clear mesh pocket with the elastic. And in here, I just have some extra snacks for both kids. You do have a key leash on the inside of the bag, which I really, really like. And attached are my car keys. And where that zipper pocket was in front of it, you have this magnetic slip pocket. It is lightly padded. And in there right now, I have a bumpkins pouch with restaurant needs in here. Next to that, I have a package of pacifier wipes. And if anybody was curious about the tablet fitting back here as well, it totally can, so that's really nice. And then the front, you have two elastic pockets. They are not mesh. This one is a little bit bigger than this size. And here I have Johnson's hand and face wipes. And next to that, I have a package of wet ones and also a travel package of flushable wipes. And down at the very, very bottom of the bag, I have a spare change of clothes for my daughter. And that's everything inside of my bag and the layout. So really nice amount of organization and everything fits in there really, really well. All right guys, that's everything that I have packed in my Azaria La Mer Petite Luxe. And overall, I'm really happy that I got it. I'm glad I decided to give it another chance and to give it some time and to work with it. Um, it hasn't relaxed that much, but the little bit that it did really helps. And it's such a beautiful piece. I love the structure and the organization and it's been really great to use for the quick errand runs that we do. And when you just don't need to carry as much anymore, this is really, really great. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review and I hope you guys found it helpful. I really did wanna give this as much time as possible before reviewing it. So if you guys had any questions about it at all, please leave them down below for me. I'll be happy to help you as always. And please don't forget to subscribe, you guys. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, stay safe.